Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and I'm here with my epic triple comparison between the Nubia Play 5G, the Mi Note 10 Lite, and the Mi 10 Youth 5G, also known as the Mi 10 Lite Zoom. Now ahead of time guys, apologies, because it is absolutely pouring in Hong Kong today. Look at this footage guys, no joke, it is a torrential downpour. So if you do hear any thunder or anything like that, and I'm working with as good a lighting situation as I can so apologies ahead of time for that so today we have these mid-range beasts battling it out and this is such an epic comparison guys that I've decided to split this into two completely separate videos today we're going to be looking at design display performance and also sharing the battery details of these phones but I do have a special battery charge test that I was able to complete with the Nubia Play 5G I'll be sharing those results at the end of the video so stay tuned for that and tomorrow Tomorrow we'll be covering the audio speaker test, a full camera comparison, and wrapping up with PUBG. And I'm deciding to space out these videos so I can really give the deep, in-depth analysis that I love to give. And there's so much to talk about with these phones, but let's start with pricing. So the Nubia Play 5G comes in at 2,400 yuan, so in that 340 to 350 US dollar price range. And the Mino 10 Lite is coming in at 2,500 Hong Kong dollars, so that's around 320 US dollars. And then here we have the Mi 10 Lite Zoom coming in at a rock bottom 2,100 yuan for just under $300 base price. You can pick up this Snapdragon 765 Beast. Each of these phones has something very special to it and each of these phones is bringing something unique to the table. But let's figure out which of these three mid-range beasts is the best for your money. Let's have a look. Design, 9.1 millimeters, 9.7 versus 7.9. So definitely the thinnest of these is this Mi 10 Lite Zoom. And there you see all these phones next to each other. The Mi Note 10 Lite is the smallest of the bunch, but it is definitely not the lightest. The Mi 10 Lite Zoom has that honor at 192 grams versus 204 and 210 for these phones. Looking at the sides, you see they've opted for a flat edge on these two phones, while the Mi 10 Lite Zoom is using more of that curvy look that we We've seen on a lot of Xiaomi phones and surprisingly volume rockers and power buttons all in the same spot regardless of OEM USB-C bottom firing speakers on all these phones but we do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the Mi Note 10 Lite nothing on this side and here we see the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the Mi 10 Lite Zoom so the only one here without a headphone jack is the Nubia Play 5G which is unfortunate considering it is a gaming centric phone Looking at the backs of these phones, and there you can really get that size comparison between them. This Mi Note 10 Lite is definitely quite a bit smaller than these other two, and they all have a very beautiful kind of back design. I still give the edge, though, to the Mi Note 10 Lite. It just has this gorgeous pearlescence back, and that combined with a glossy metallic edge just looks so premium and so beautiful in the light. And the Mi 10 Lite Zoom also has a very nice back, but it's kind of let down by the plastic build quality on the edge, which is a sacrifice, I think, and I would even choose this more rugged metallic look on the Nubia Play 5G over any plastic build any day. Camera modules, the Mi Note 10 Lite just wins it. I love when cameras are all one line all the way down. It looks so clean and it looks so nice. Not a huge fan of this triangular kind of look on the Nubia Play 5G and this rectangular cutout is okay but it still doesn't look as clean as the one on the Mi Note 10 Lite. Looking at the front and there once again you see a significant difference in bezel size between these phones. The Nubia Play 5G is opting for uniform but still fairly large bezels in comparison on the top and bottom and they're pretty much the same size as the ones you see here on the Mi 10 Lite Zoom and no notch on the Nubia Play 5G smaller notch here on the Mi 10 Lite Zoom well we have a pretty significant size notch on the Mi Note 10 Lite but it doesn't bother me too much and overall in terms of design I still think the Mi Note 10 Lite takes this round it is still the most polished and most well built of the these three phones and just the fact that Xiaomi has been able to bring this phone down to the price point where it's at of around 320 US dollars you're getting one of the best build qualities in this Mino 10 line. Display 
6.65 inch versus 6.47 versus 6.57. All of these phones are using Super AMOLED, Gorilla Glass 5 on the Mi Note 10 Lite and the Mi 10 Lite Zoom. Whereas for the Nubia Play 5G, it's unspecified, but I can assume it's a form of Gorilla Glass. I just don't know which one. And there's something to like about all these displays. The Mi 10 Lite Zoom has a really nice flat panel display, which gets up there to the level of the Redmi K30 Pros, minus the bezel, obviously, and the notch. And the color colors pop off the display. The white point is really nice. It's not to the accuracy, I would say, of the Mi 10 Pro or something like that, but it still looks very uniform and very accurate in my opinion. And the Mi Note 10 Lite is taking the same display from that CC9 Pro Mi Note 10 Pro, and it is a gorgeous display. The curves aren't my favorite. There is that kind of green tint that you see, but that does make for a more usable phone. And this display is smaller. It's 6.47, which means it actually is a little bit easier to manage in daily use. Colors are gorgeous and honestly I have no complaints about this display. Minus the curved edges it is a gorgeous panel. But there's no denying it guys the elephant in the room here with these two phones versus the Nubia Play 5G 60 Hertz 60 Hertz 144 Hertz. And with that, the display round is over. It's game over, guys. The Nubia Play 5G just has a display that is punching well above its price point. This 144 Hertz refresh rate has to be seen to be believed. It is like manipulating paper. It's like you're using a physical object. And yes, it is only full HD, but it is an absolutely gorgeous display and is one of the best displays I've used on a phone this year. Now, I'm not saying that it's the most beautiful panel and it surpasses Samsung panels, but once you put 144 hertz in the mix, it just makes it something that you've never seen before. And I love the fact that Nubia also included 90 hertz here on this phone as an option. That really does let you still enjoy the smoothness of 90 hertz, but still be able to really maximize your battery life. Add to that that it's a flat panel display and the viewing angles are solid and we don't have any notch or any punch hole to speak of. Despite the bezels, guys, I give the display award here to the Nubia Play 5G. It is punching in a weight class well above what Xiaomi is offering at this price point. And here's YouTube playback on the Nubia Play 5G, the Mi Note 10 Lite, and the Mi 10 Lite Zoom. And from this angle, it really does appear incredible how small the bezels are on the Mi Note 10 Lite. It looks like a really futuristic experience, but we do have the largest notch of the three. Now in terms of watching content, you'd be surprised, but the winner here has got to be the Nubia Play 5G. It's incredible guys, because this definitely isn't the most modern looking panel because you have those slightly larger bezels top and bottom. But when it comes to watching content, you have uninterrupted viewing on this phone. And that is what makes the difference. Add to that the higher refresh rates and just the colors it takes the YouTube playback round. But in DRM Info, it's another story, and we have the global Mi Note 10 Lite taking this round, L1, baby. It is great to see Xiaomi's including L1 security level for HD Netflix capability on all of their global releases, no matter which price point they come at. And that is the definite benefit of getting the global version of Xiaomi phones. You don't have to worry about the incompatibilities you'll see, like on the China version here of the Mi 10 Lite Zoom or on the Nubia Play 5G. And looking at performance, Geekbench 5, we see two phones actually leading the pack, the Mi 10 Lite Zoom and the Nubia Play 5G, both using that Snapdragon 765G. And these are some of the best deals you can get in the market right now for this chipset. And the Mi 10 Lite Zoom did very well in this test with scores quite a bit higher than the other two. As you can see, the Snapdragon 730 in the Mi Note 10 Lite just can't keep up. But don't get me wrong, the 730 is one of the most balanced chipsets you can get in a phone when it comes to battery life and just overall performance. I still love this chipset here in 2020. But we need to pick a winner here in performance. And there is one thing that edges out these other two phones in the Nubia Play 5G, and that is the refresh rate. When it comes to just experience on this phone. There are few phones other than maybe the OnePlus 8 Pro that have given me this level of speed and fluidity in a smartphone. Now it's not to say I don't see little glitches occasionally. They do happen, but once this thing starts scrolling, it is just an unparalleled experience. Add to that the eight gigs of DDR4X RAM, which is pretty much in line with these other phones, but we only have six GB on the Mi Note 10 Lite. You're looking at the first place performance winner here in the Nubia Play 5G. 
But if we look at software, it's a different story, guys. This Nubia Play 5G's version 8.0.2 isn't my favorite. And it is not a terrible UI. It definitely seems to have improved a lot from even last year with the Red Magic 3. But I still think that MIUI 11 is a step above. And when you use it on a phone like the Mi Note 10 Lite, this is where the curved edges really come in handy. Swiping to go back and all the gestures and navigation are just a step above what we're seeing from Nubia right now. And the experience on the Mi 10 Lite Zoom is also great, but it is hampered by the fact that it is the China ROM. So we just have a lot more bloat, additional ads, and lack of multi-language support and no pre-installed Google. That when it comes to software, I still think the global version of MIUI 11 takes the cake. And talking about battery life, we have a 5,100 milliampere versus 5,260 versus 4,160. So a full thousand less. And regardless of what it says here in GSAM battery monitor, we can immediately eliminate the Mi 10 Lite zoom. But there's another thing that affects battery life quite a bit, and that is refresh rate. And if you're running this Nubia Play 5G at a 144 hertz, you can be assured you will not get anywhere near the battery life experience of the Mino 10 Lite. This phone just wins by default. And back in 2019, this phone was my battery champ and it is one of the best battery life experiences I've ever had on a phone. And sure, you're not getting that flagship 90 or 120 hertz experience on this phone, but because it is pegged at 60 hertz, you're just gonna have a much longer lasting phone by default. But I know what you guys are saying, but Frankie Tech, we can always adjust here on the Nubia Play 5G. It will have as good battery life as on the Mi Note 10 Lite. That is true, guys, but you don't buy a phone and run it at 60 hertz if you have other options available. The whole selling point of these phones is to be able to use them at higher refresh rates. And yes, I'm sure this phone could do even better at 60 hertz, but if you're running this at 90 hertz or the much touted 144 hertz, which you should, guys, don't buy this phone and run it at 60 hertz you're wasting your money it will give you a solid battery experience but it still won't match the experience here on this Mi Note 10 Lite but as we know guys battery capacity is only one part of the story charging is also very important and here we see 30 watt versus 30 watt versus 22.5 watt charging on these phones. Now I've done charge tests with the Mi Note 10 Pro previously and this phone should give me a pretty much similar result at one hour and nine minutes and the Mi 10 Lite Zoom here lasted one hour and 19 minutes in its fast charge test. So the only phone I haven't tested here is the Nubia Play 5G. Well guess what guys I did that test earlier today so let's see how this Nubia Play 5G stacks up with these other two phones in fast charging. So there you see it guys, and with a time of one hour and 18 minutes, considering the size and capacity of this phone, I think it did a solid job in this battery charge test. It still can't match this Mi Note 10 Lite though, and the Mi Note 10 Lite I think takes this battery round simply because of the larger capacity and the faster charging times. If you want the best battery experience of these three, pick up the Mi Note 10 Lite. So wrapping up this part one, we see the Mino 10 Lite has 
four categories, four points awarded to it here, while the Nubia Play 5G is hot on its heels at three points. And the Mi 10 Lite Zoom, dang, we always need a third place here, has no points awarded so far. We'll see if we can pick up some points in tomorrow's video when I do my audio speaker test, the camera test, and PUBG Mobile. But stay tuned guys for this part two and the final verdict where we find out which of these awesome phones is the best for you. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. So stay tuned guys. And not just this, I have some other great content coming very soon. Thanks for watching. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one.